Okay, class, we're back. This is tutorial number two, and what we're going to do now is uh, let's take a look back at the original here. And notice, uh, sorry, notice there's only one on here. But when I go to press play, all of a sudden there are one, two, three, four, and the original kind of disappeared. So that's uh, that's our goal for this tutorial. As they bounce around and they approach, we try to shoot them. Again, my collision detection I haven't done yet, and we're going to do that next. So that's our goal of this tutorial. Exit it. All right, so we're back to this guy. Remember, if uh, he just bounces around back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Now, it's really tedious to go and do this six or seven or eight or nine times. It'd be really nice if VB can make this for us, right? So that's what we're going to do. We were going to do it in the form load. So let's double click the gray and uh, take a look at some code. All right, so we're inside the form load. And remember, we're just gonna create a bunch of aliens. And well, VB, VB is gonna do it for us, so we don't have to. If you want to, you could literally copy and paste it over and over and over again, but that would be a lot of work and we're not about that. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna use a for loop to do it. Okay, so to create a for loop, we got four. We're gonna call it loop counter, LC. We're gonna set it to zero. And we're going to go to, and now you can put your, as many aliens as you want to create here. So uh, in this case, we want to create, let's create three aliens. All right. Hit enter. And then by default, the next shows up. So here's what we need. Actually, we need to create an array because we're going to hold all these picture boxes. Sorry. We're going to hold all these aliens inside of an array. Think back to when we talked about array. How do I do that again? We're going to call it aliens. And we're going to ask for, and you can say however you want here. Just remember that this number has got to jive with how many you're going to create. So I'm going to go a little bit high. I'm going to go 10. And as, now what are the aliens? They are picture boxes. So I'm going to type in picture box. Right. And so now we've declared, or we've asked for this amount of aliens. And... VB is going to give us some space for that. So we're back into the form load. And right now I'm just going to create three of them. Okay. All right. So uh, again, we want to first fill the image. So we got to put it, the image as what it was before. At what spot? At loop counter dot image. There it is. Is equal to. And now we're going to grab the image that was in our original picture box. So PB alien dot image. All right, so we got a picture box. We got the background. Next, let's give it a location. So we're going to say aliens. Again, it's spot. Well, if I could type, that would be awesome. E I. All right, aliens at spot LC dot location is equal to now let's go back to the form here for a second and now here's our first guy his location if we go way over here his location is um, somewhere his location is zero zero that's because I'm in the form let's try going to PB alien All right. so his location is 440 I would suggest to put these to round numbers. So if they're other than that, change it to the closest 10. So if it was like 421, change it to 400. And if it was at 47, change it to 50 or 40. So we want to give locations, and we want them to be random locations all around the form. Does that make sense? So that's what we're going to do right now. The location is always under uh, X and then Y. Okay. So the first one we've got is aliens location. The first uh, spot again is going to be sorry. We got to ask for a new drawing here, so we got to do some VB code here. So new, no, still not picking it up. Oh, there we go. Uh, dot drawing. Dot points. Open brackets. All right. So now we can uh, give it new points, and it's X and Y, and we want it to be random, right? So follow me for a second here. What we're going to do is create for the x variable, 
the x variable is the one that goes across the top. I'm just going to zoom out here. Okay. So now we uh, we're going to create a location for it. All right, and it's going to be at random spots. If we go back to the design, we want this alien to be at random locations all the way throughout the form, x and y. We don't really want it to be way down here because that would be make the game almost impossible. We want the alien maybe the top three rows and anywhere across the x for y, just the top of y. The location, if I click on this guy, is always x and then y. You expand, it tells you there's x is at 500 and y is at 40. Let's make sure that these are whole numbers and nothing um, to the round to the closest 10. All right, so if you want to change that right now to the closest 10, that's perfect. We're in the form load. I'm going to zoom in for us here. So inside here, the location new system drawing dot point, and we're going to open close brackets. We're going to work inside the brackets. So the first point is the x variable. And we want it to be random. So we want a random number somewhere across the x. And we want it to be a multiple of 50. Why 50? Because that's how wide our drawing of the alien is. So random number, remember this from class, int, open close brackets, get back inside of it, rnd, open close brackets, times how big we want here. Now we're just going to take 15. And you're going to see why in a second. And then we're going to close the int brackets. Um, and then we're going to plus one outside the brackets. Plus one. Oops, sorry. Get back over here. So we got int random number between 1 and 15 plus one. And then we're going to times that by 50. Why 50? Because that's how wide our picture box of the alien is. So let's think of this for a second. Right here, this int random rnd tabs, all this code is going to return a number between 1 and 15. Then you're going to take that number and times it by 50. So if you got return spot number 1, when you go to spot number one times 50 it would give you a location over here if your random number was two it'd be right about here three four five six seven eight and so forth if you got 15 with 15 times 50 that would give you this last location way way over here let's go back to the code because 15 times 50 would be 500 it'd be 750 actually that's a little too high so instead of 15, let's change this back down to 13. So now 13 times 50 would be 500. It would be 615, which is about the width of our form. So now we have to do the y variable. That's the up and down. The up and down, we just want to be near the top. So we want a random number again. So int, open close, get back inside, r and d, open close times our range. What's our range? In this case, we just want the, the, the top three rows. So we're going to times it by three. Get outside the brackets now. And we're going to plus one. Because we, we, we want to start at one. Now we're going to times this one by the height of our alien. And in this case, the height of our alien is 40. Double check we've got enough brackets. Looks pretty good. Yeah, the blue line disappeared. So now let's take a look at what's going on over here. So we're going to have a random, this right here is going to be a random number between 1 and 3. And we're going to times that random number by 40, and that'll give us the first row, the second row, the third row. Now, bed mass, this is going to mess up a little bit when VB tries to do order of operations. So we need another set of brackets. We need to open brackets in front of the first int, and we need to close the brackets right after the one. We gotta do the same thing over here. We're gonna open brackets right before the int, and we're gonna close the brackets right after the one. Again, that's just order bed mass. We're just gonna clean up the operation. Good. 
So we got our location random. That was hard work and not easy stuff. If I went too fast, or if it's over your head, that's okay. Just know that it took me a long time to figure that out and get the math all correct. Next thing we need to do is create the size of our alien. All right, so let's go to aliens. Misspelled e aliens. Oops, come on, bow jump. Aliens, LC. And then we want to go to size. And that is going to be equal to uh, new size. So we're going to go down, new size. And again, it's the X and the Y. So the X would be how wide it is, the Y, how tall it is. And I know this by heart, it is 50. And the height is 40. And I think that's good. New line. So we got, uh, let's double check we got everything. So we have number one, we ask for a new picture box. We fill it with an image, the old image. We give it a location. We give it a size. I think that's it. Now we just have to give it the controls. So this is, uh, again, VB syntax. You want to kind of say, all right, you're allowed to be an object in VB. So we have to give it controls from the form. Remember, we can't reference the form by itself, so we use the word me. Dot controls. And we're going to click down here. So we're going to give it controls, and we're going to add it. And who are we going to add it to? So that's inside this bracket. We're going to add it to the alien that we just created. Whoops. And which alien? At spot LC. And oh, that should be good. So I just back out of here a little bit. And I think that's it. Let's uh, zoom out. So I'm just going to give an error as always. Oh, maybe not this time. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, and it looks like it's going to... Nope, doesn't like this. So I'm going to hit stop. Now I'm going to run it. Press play. Hey, look. So there's our created aliens. Notice they're not moving because we haven't coded in how to move it yet. Our one dude is having a great time going across all the aliens. And it uh, looks good. So that's it for this tutorial. The next tutorial is going to be moving our aliens across the form. Thanks.